Welcome to another episode of Cyberpunk. <laughs> no, not Cyberpunk, my bad. Welcome to another episode of Red Dead Redemption. So, uh, I figured out the problem, maybe. Uh, what will happen is I will jump from here, get some damage, I think, and then run and then walk. Just walk and then get to the quest. Yes. Yes. And I can tell you yes. with no uncertainty that miracle cures are no laughing matter. I bid you <laughs> good day, sir. <laughs> oh, Mr. Marston, good to see you. How have you been keeping? I'm well, Mr. Uh, Mr. West Dickens. Nigel West Dickens of East Cheap London, New Waverly, New York, and Armadillo, New Austin. At your service. At my service. At everyone's service, at the service of science, of knowledge, of life. Uh, <laughs> how are your wounds? Hmm? Oh, oh, uh, much, much better. But then they would be. Mm -hmm. Would be. I know a cure for all ailments, Mr. Marston. Ah, I'm sure you do. And I'm sure for just $2 an ounce, I could live forever. Oh, but for you, sir. I do a bulk discount rate of 195 an ounce. <laughs> as long as you buy 100 ounces or more, that's a lot of immortality. Uh, give it up, old man. That's Mr. West Dickens to you, boy. Give it up, old man. <laughs> uh, listen, Marston, I'm broke. But this stuff is good. It works. I need a healthy young man like you. <laughs> Come along, and let's ride over to my newest customer at Ridgewood, and I'll explain while we go. Okay. <laughs> <sighs> As a fucking waste of time, in my opinion, Head but okay. For Ridgewood Farm, John, in hurry. There are people there in dire need of my tonic. Holy moly, what the heck heard was that? About you, Mr. West and I about you, John Marston. My dear boy, it is you who is gullible if I make you so bold. Such ill informed scuttle. Your poor wind is a horse with a collar. I have been blessed with the gift of language, and for that I will not apologize. But the West Dickens elixirs speak for themselves. My thousands of happy customers attend. Those men trying to kill you didn't look so happy. Skepticism is the bastard child of progress, John. Knowledge makes a fool into a doubting Thomas. It's the cross I bear as a pioneer in the fields of commerce and medical research. If my tonic is such a sham, how do you explain the fine battle in which you find me? Last time you saw me, I was knocking at death's door. You should thank the doctor for that. I reckon you were acting it up worse than it was. Act I can, John. A more convincing Othello there has never been. And so shall you. A fair Iago or Cassio make. I don't like the sound of this. Showmanship, John. The flourish. The bow. We are operating in a competitive marketplace. All of it must stand out. And how does this involve me? We're going to use your God-given talents to our advantage. I'm really starting to regret this. I'll drop you off at the outskirts of Bridgewood. That way, it won't look like we came together. Once I'm set up, saunter nonchalantly into the crowd that is sure to be formed. Eventually, I will call you up to try my tonic. After extolling the virtues, I will have you perform a few feats of wonder to amaze and impress the being. Such as? Oh, nothing out of the ordinary for a man in your line of work, I assure you. So, it is all a sham. No, no, just a little innocent ballyhoo to grease the wheels of enterprise, that's all. Do you think that buxom young girl you see on the Voyage camera posters knows the first thing about photography? Best you alight here, dear boy, so no one sees us arriving. See you shortly, and remember, showmanship! Bro, what am I doing? Just go back. Fuck, what is this quest? my horse. Come in, boy. Come 
Wingman farm, or did I wrote it? Did I, did I read it wrong? Uh, I should say somewhere here. No. Anyway, I was here before. Springs, gather round, gather round. Do you suffer from rheumatism, lumbago, acute chronic sciatic, uh, uh, neurologic or inflammatory pain? Well, I represent the only company that makes the genuine article that cures headaches, neuralgia, uh, earache, toothaches, backache, swelling, sprains, sore chests, swelling of the throats, contracted cords and muscles, anxieties and ravaged nerves, stiff joints, wrenches, dislocations, cuts and bruises, and it adds vitality and vigor to the healthy man. <laughs> well, can you prove it, old man? Oh, I'm sure there's some customer here who could prove the qualities of its by... Take a drink right now. You, sir, come up here. Step right up. <laughs> no, bro, what is the bullshit? That's the spirit. Ladies and gentlemen, pay close attention. This poor, wretched volunteer, entirely unknown to me, will demonstrate the effects of Dr. West Dickens' own patent tonic. Be you a cowpoke or athlete, this miraculous elixir developed with the wisdom of the East keeps the muscles supple and relaxes the cords. It loosens the joints and gives a feeling of youth and vigor to the whole system. Not possible, I hear you say. Well, doubt no longer. Faith can move mountains, but I ask not for faith. I am a man of science, and today science will be vindicated. Your eyesight is greatly improved, is that not so, friend? If you say so. That's right, it is. You heard him. What a good sport you are, sir. Now, gaze over yonder at that porch. If you squint, you may just be able to make out the skull that's hanging there. Go ahead, friend. Shoot that skull and demonstrate the miraculous eyesight you now possess. <sighs> really? Haha! <laughs> Wait! He is still adjusting to his powerful new eyes. Try again, friend. The tonic may still be taking hold. Mm, what is this bullshit? Wait! He is still adjusting to his powerful new eyes. Try again, friend. The okay, time okay. May still be taking hold. Charlatan! Remarkable! The eyesight of an eagle. Grant Come on, man. By being Dr. West Dickens own patent tonic. Anybody can make that shot. This man is a fraud. If your eyes so damn sharp, why don't you try shooting my hat out of the air? My friends, our test case has been challenged to shoot a gentleman's hat out of the sky above our heads. You can fool these people, but you ain't fooling me. All right, sir. All right. Let's just see how sharp you is with a moving target. Steady yourself, stranger. He is still adjusting to the powerful tonic. <laughs> well, you want to try that again, sharpshooter? Come on, then. <laughs> right, friend. Here comes the throw. You're more crooked than a snake and a cactus. Huh? What I tell you? Do not write him off yet. Oh, my He's God. Still Bro, why is not auto aiming? Tonic. I'm not good at this <laughs> well, on the controller. Try that again, sharpshooter. Come on, then. Get ready to shoot that hat. You ready to get embarrassed again? I failed. <sighs> Bro, really? I have to do this? He's about to throw it. 
You can now lock multiple targets while I'm in the daylight. The one shot can be five. You're more crooked than a snake in a Oh! Have you ever seen such an eye? Okay. Behold the power of the elixir. Looked out of the sky. Hey! Hey! What? You think you can put a hole in a man's hat and just walk away? Do you? Hey, it don't work like that around here, mister. Come on! Are you a man or not? A challenge of battle has been offered to our volunteer. Prepare for a display of Herculean brawn. Come back! You have nothing to fear. Bomb! 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 You don't believe your eyes. <laughs> There it is, skeptics and dissenters, irrefutable proof. Do not let this opportunity pass you by. Look, he's over there. Go get him. This ends now. Watch out, he's got a gun. Who the hell do you think you are? You ain't leaving here alive. Hello there. Bro, what? The guy was shooting me. You serious right now? Bro, that's a self defense, no? Wow, okay. Marvelous shot, dear boy. The kind of deadly accuracy that can only be afforded by the West Dickens elixir. Come, I have plenty for all. You'll be fine. Get out of my way. Hey, where are you going? Oh, I, I want a bottle. Get me a bottle, please. One of them right here. Yeah, no harm in trying one bottle, I suppose. <laughs> but I, well, I think that went kind of well, don't you? I'm just glad that my normal job involves either chasing after cattle or murderers. Not the likes of you, mister. Don't be like that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'd like to say my goodbyes, head on back to the real world. Uh, 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 wait, sir. I, I've been thinking about your predicament, and I, I think I may have an idea. I've been thinking I could be your cunning Odysseus. Beware of the Greeks burying gifts, sir. Mm -hmm. Williamson had better beware. We will make them into Trojans. I don't rightly get you. I want you to go and see my old friend, Seth. Uh, he can come across as a little curious, but I'm sure you two will get on. Uh, he's uh, most often found at Coots Chapel. He's very devout. Why see him? Because between him and me, we can get those gates to open for you, and you can walk right in, just like in Homer's great Trojan yarn! <laughs> Dumbass. I don't fancy your chances on this angry son of a gun. He's a wild one, and no mistake. All right, no mistake, huh? Come here, boy. Relax now. Just calm yourself. Come here, boy. Easy. I got you now. Come on, boy. Get tired, maybe. See, first try, baby. Easy. Work, son. Easy collab. We go back to S. Whoa, really? I'm doing this guy's quest again? Bro, I try my best to fail every shit possible and still we still doing this quest? Come on. I thought like maybe this game, like if I fail, that could be a different outcome, but there wasn't. 
Some bullshit. Anyway, uh, the set guy is here. No train. I wonder if I can use train sometimes to fast travel. I cannot believe I lost 100 honor there. Fuck's sake. Come on, come on. Excuse me, are you Seth? Who are you? I'm a friend of Mr. West Dickens. My name is Marston. John Marston. Goodbye, John Marston. It's been a great pleasure. I need your help, Seth. We need your help. Me and Mr. West Dickens. Let me be frank for one second, partner. I hate people. It was people who got me in this mess in the first place. What mess? <laughs> Look at me. Look! Scrambling around, looking for maps, half insane. I ain't washed in six months. My hair falling out, my mind's going. What happened? <laughs> what happened? My partner. He stole half my map. I never would have done that to him. Never. Look at me. Who did this to you? My partner. My boy, my man. Moses Ford. I don't have the facility to tell you what I would have done for that man and what I would do to him now. Ooh. Why? Because he stole half my goddamn map. <laughs> and what map's that then? The map, partner. The map that tells me where it is. Where what is it? Oh. Hey, treasure. Man. Treasure. Hey. <laughs> don't make me tell, partner. <laughs> it's mine. It's mine. All mine. Sure. And where's this Moses now? He's at Benedict Point. The law got him for exhuming. Some people, they feel differently. Not Moses. Him and me are the same. The self same. Huh? Come on, Seth. Let's go see Moses. Get you your map back. Then maybe you'll help me. All right, partner. Let's go. <laughs> that was so easy. All right, partner. Let's go. Partner. Horses are over here. Yes, sir. Let's go. How can you sink that low? Digging up graves and looting from the dead. Ha, ah, hypocrites! The whole damn lot of you. Are you saying it's better to steal from the living? They're corpses. They don't care none. These people have been laid to rest. You don't know nothing. I talk to them long after they've been forgotten by every other fellow. I tell them it's all right to be scared and alone. I embrace them when they're stinking and rotten. I met some sick bastards in my time, Seth. But you? You're special. Folk is cold and heartless all their lives. To me, You're they special. get warmer when they're actually cold and heartless. Surely that makes sense to even you. Not exactly, it don't. Are we really living anyway? Do you exist outside my mind? Maybe we're both having the same dream, and when we wake up, we'll die. I certainly seem to be in some kind of nightmare. Master! Oh, there. Uh, have you looked in the cave, Seth? Very dark. What'd you say? I, I didn't say nothing. I just heard you say something. You're a crazy man. You should get that head looked at. Seth, 
I need someone who can get a wagon inside Fort Mercer. I was told you could help me, but I'm not sure you even know what day it is. I don't. I can't even tell you what year it is. I knew this was a waste of time. So, you want to go after Bill Williamson, do you? You know Bill? Oh, yes. I met Williamson and Deke and all them boys. Sometimes they call me on when they get some special job needs doing. I got a reputation as a man who do things most other fellers won't. Now, that I can believe. I reckon you can get in there, no bother. Assuming you help me find this map that is. All right. Yeah! What's so important about this map? Nothing much. You guys map. Unimaginable riches and such like. A spark of hope that lit a rage and fire I can't put out. I thought as much. Another treasure hunter losing everything in the search for nothing. All right, this is it. Let's stop here a moment and come up with a plan. As far as I know, Moses is being held in that shack. There's a couple of deputies keeping guard outside. Can you distract him so I can sneak in for a quick parlay with that son of a bitch? I'm sure I can think of something. Oh my god. Waste of time. Away from the shack and out of sight. Somewhere out past that hill. <laughs> All right, let's see what we this can do. Is one god awful assignment. I know this place is deader than a side of bacon. Don't you lay a finger on them horses, Mister. Huh? Back on up, mister. This ain't no business of yours. Yeah, sure. Are you looking for trouble, mister? Them's our horses. You crap, man. What about the other guy? Ah, oh, he's coming. Save now. Yeah. Ooh, nice. Ooh. I don't want to kill them, so this is the best option, I think. Getting rid of them clowns. Now keep an eye out in case they come back. Bro, you didn't do it though. Oh my god, I thought you already finished. Moses? Oh, Moses? You got a visitor. Oh my god, Seth. They arrested me. It weren't my fault. Ah! Get the hell away from me! Get that slippery bastard! I need him alive, though! Get away from me! Come here, boy. Come here, boy. You ain't that damn law! Hmm. Come on, come on! Who the hell are you? Hey, <laughs> boy, come here. Come here, boy. Just leave me alone! 
This guy looks you way better. Be stupid trust in that crazy bastard. <laughs> Did you think I would find you? Moses, you son of a bitch? Where's my damn map? Damn you, sir! Damn you, sir! You've always been a twisting little freak. I ain't telling you shit. Ah. Then I'm gonna cut you ah, up ah. piece by piece. <laughs> Till you find your tongue. Friend, this man's gone crazy in the sun. I suggest you take my advice and start talking. Shut up, Marston! I want to cut into a bona fide man's flesh. Ain't never cut into a live one before. Uh, odd, odd fellow's rest. It's an odd fellow's rest. Now, get away from me once and for all. Well, ain't that a damn shame. I was starting to enjoy myself. I think you gone pissed yourself. Moses? <laughs> Rip. Those deputies went and put a bounty on your head. Best we clear it now. Don't need the law on our backs. I don't have no money, but I got me a pardon letter. Here, take it. You earned it for helping me with the Moses. Uh. Come on. We can pay it off in the telegraph office. Uh. Uh. Hurry up. I need to go find that man. Come on, bro. Bounty. Well, hello. Go on, then. You can clear it up Sheriff at this. Sheriff believes miracles take place in repentance. I need to clear my name. This should do it. Let's have Come on. Fresh Just give him that part. Ah, get the, get the money. Now. Anyway, it's fine. So, mister, thanks for your help. Don't worry yourself with thanks, Seth. Just help me when I come ask it. No problem, mister. All right, partner. I'm not familiar with the buttons, so I'm pressing one button every time. Yes, fame. It's great that you can clear your name. Come on. We'll just give him money. We are hella far, dude. Oh my god. Oh, they can see here. This is the train. I can take a train for travel line. Pretty sure. Oh my god, I'm not wasting my time here. They already killed the guy. Come on, boy. Everything is fine. Five? Oh my god. Okay, I can sleep here. Top, 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 top. But I have to give money for that, I think. Five dollars, nothing. All right, man. <sighs> yes, let's see this Dickens. Ah, oh, Mr. Marston, how are you, sir? I'm all right. I met up with your friend, Seth. Oh, 
Seth of the Dead. <laughs> yes, <laughs> interesting fellow. <laughs> you don't meet many men these days with the moral fortitude to cut straight to the chase like that, do you? <laughs> Thankfully not, Mr. West Dickens. <laughs> yes, Dickens. Uh, Contemporary society is remarkably harsh on professional exhumers. But did you know that in ancient Egypt, it was an art form valued more highly than literature? I believe Seth comes from that school of thought. <laughs> How very interesting. Look, you thought any more about our plan? Ah, your plan, dear boy. Your plan. I am merely the help, uh, not mercifully the arbiter of wisdom. What you are, dear boy is the man whose life I've saved twice now. A man who sells lies and deceit to unwitting people. A man who, if he doesn't help me, I won't think twice about putting a bullet through his skull, feeding to the vultures myself. Uh, you see, Mr. Marston, you have the exterior of a violent man, but the soul of an angel, and that is what I think I cherish most about you. <laughs> That's what I thought. Uh, but before we can attend to your particular problems, uh, um, oh, we need some extra lubricant to oil the machinery of business. And uh, this being America, uh, that lubricant with which we concern ourselves uh, is money. Money? Uh, what are you talking about? Oh, uh, we need weapons. Armor plate for the wagon, extra hands, and I need some danger money. So, let's sell some more of these cures. Sell cures? Around here? Do you want to see me lynched? Oh, no, the sport of kings. Racing, my friend. The sport of kings. A noble activity without reproach. Exactly the kind of activity where a lying, cheating, degenerate like myself can prosper. <laughs> Come, let's finish the loading and we'll discuss it as we drive. <laughs> Bro, fucking bitch, I want to kill this motherfucker. Now, sir, do that tooth reach. Is an interesting fellow, is he not? I wouldn't say interesting. More deeply disturbed. I can see why you two get along. I see the good in everybody, John. It's a flaw of mine. I have a soft spot for life's flotsam and jetsam. The connection with him more like you and Seth have a lot in common. You both rob people for one. Mind you, at least he waits until they're dead. Oh, dear boy. Nobody is more critical of drinkers than a drunk who's mended his ways. What are you talking about? Come on now, John. I've heard about you. You spent your life robbing people. It's a little inappropriate to be taking the moral high ground now. Whatever helps you sleep easily at night. We stole from those who had too much. We tried to give to those who had too little. In Robin Hood with Spurs. Oh, romantic. You expect me to believe that poppycock? Maybe I'll have the good fortune to be able to leave my nefarious life behind one day and work on the government's dime. Don't talk about things you don't understand. Dear, oh dear, simmer down, my boy. You need to start appreciating your friends more. Folks around here don't see you as any different from Bill Williamson. I didn't think I'd have to huckster snake oil and dig up the dead, that's all. Take it from me, John. Collaboration is the key to success. I can help He's you. right about that. Seth can help you. It's business. Nothing more, nothing less. There's no need to make it quite so personal. Suits me. All right. Oops. Okay, we're pressing the buttons. Not buttons, but the K, uh, keys on my keyboard. Gap two, three. What is this bullshit? Let the fester cart pass! 
So now that's been said, y'all can get to running each other off the road like always. All right now, count Oh, we can three. shoot each other? Ready! Set! Remember, Jack! This is fast, man. One of eight. I have to do eight times this. Said I am the first one out of eight people. I was like, hell no, doing this eight times. Somebody decides they want their money back. Fine by me. Isn't that fantastic? The cheers of the crowd, the thunder of the wheels. The fun, Ross. Homicidal maniac. Oh, come on, John. Even a cold-hearted misanthrope like you must have found that just the tiniest bit exhilarating. Not the friendliest bunch, are they? They take the racing very seriously in these parts, and your participation was not entirely pre-approved. That was clear. Ah, sport, war, and heartache. <laughs> the guilty pleasures of mankind since the dawn of time. I get away from the men we just swindled before you start waxing too lyrical. Yes, yes, of course. Right. Oh, this is the way I robbed the horse. Well done, sir. Well done. Having you as a ringer has netted us a fine profit. <laughs> we seem to be wasting time, old man. Oh, patience, my friend. The Trojan horse cannot run before it can walk, if you'll forgive the metaphor. Next, we need to procure some grand and overwhelming firepower. And for that, you need to contact an old friend of mine. Goes by the name of Irish. Irish. Yes, uh, he's an interesting kind of fellow. Um, he usually can be found in uh, Armadillo or some other town around here on some Bacchanalian revel or such. Uh, Great. An alcoholic arms dealer. What could be better? Wasting my time. I want to see Bonnie. I, S, and we. <laughs> All right, can I save? Sleep here? And we cannot sleep here. Funny man.
It's the go with taxi. Oh, the taxi here? Well, hello. No need to walk, mister. Get off that thing. No. No, 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 no. No. I want to give soda paper. I want to give soda paper. Sir, I surrender. Easy. <gasps> Bro, my honor. Oh my god. This game is bullshit. I have to come here, I think. Can I like load back to the Yeah, let's go back to here. All right? Let's go back. That's just right after we got off the Dickens wagon. I, I want to go for autosave. Okay, I mean that was fast skip. <laughs> anyway. Um, actually I want to save myself anyway, so it should be fine. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching guys. It was a weird kind of episode where we had to lie and do a bunch of useless shit. But yeah, we have to say uh, good things. I don't know if there's a, like a saying in uh, English, like there's a bridge and in the middle of the bridge there's a bear. To be able to cross the bridge, you have to say um, uncle to the bear, you know, bear. Uh, that's a Turkish saying. I don't know if it's exists in English. <laughs> Maybe it's a different form. So to be able to cross the bridge, you have to act the way they want. It's happening. Shooting me. Why are you shooting me? You ever wonder how great it must have been? Here's your money. The I think he's learned his lesson. You're a real American, Par. Keep some of the money for payment. Nice. Alright, that's what I was saying. Thanks for watching. Fame plus 20. Whew. Well, after getting 100 minus honor. Bro, after bribing that shit, I get 400 minus. Like, what the fuck? Anyway, thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care and peace out.